is the new part of Grand Central that's just opened. It's called Grand Central Madison. And it's ready to accommodate the Long Island Railroad, the LIR, um, instead of going all the way to Penn Station. See if we head in here and see what it looks like. So it's pretty nice looking, it's very clean, very new, as you enter it's quite hard to find, there's no real signage inside Grand Central itself, it points you to Grand Central Madison, so you kind of have to go down two flights. The first one going down towards the dining concourse and then the second one going down one flight further and getting into Grand Central Medicine itself. Let's just see what some of these signage and artwork is. This looks pretty nice. Still have a lot of ticketing machines all over the place and it looks like what some quotations from famous New Yorkers This looks like where the entrance could be to the actual station. I'm not sure how you enter here from the street directly into Grand Central Madison. There might be an entrance on Madison Avenue. The only way I've found in so far is from the actual Grand Central Station on 42nd. Maybe the further we go in, we'll see if there's a different entrance you can go in from a different avenue to. Still seems like a lot of the stores haven't been opened yet. As I say, it's pretty new. It's opened in the last couple of weeks. So I'm sure we'll see some new tenants come in. Go down in a minute and see what it's like down there. Let's first come out this way. have a look through the rest of the section over here on this floor. So it seems like all the tracks are downstairs, one flight below. And the subways or Metro North is further down. Old 
Let's head in this way. It looks like there's some ticketing stations and ticketing counters over here. photos of some of the excavation work that's been going on. So clearly some of these pictures, the construction work, the excavation that's taken place to build the station. To be quite honest, a lot of this is going on unbeknownst to a lot of people who lived in New York. I don't think many people knew the construction was taking place and then all of a sudden there were announcements for it opening. Which is very rare in the city to find some piece of construction that hasn't been spoken about much and then just opening all of a sudden. It's kind of great. This looks like it takes you all the way to 47th Street up here. You can go further up, all the way to 48th. Quite a long way up. From where it starts at 42nd. So it'll be very interesting to see if you can actually exit from 47th to 48th, all the way up here. If there are actual street exits as well, I'm not quite sure. Of this, I'm not exactly sure if you can exit at any of these streets. There might be at some point, it looks like there's a street exit by 44th Street, but I'm not exactly sure if there are any further. It looks like there might be one as well on 48th potentially. It's very interesting. So, this might have an exit somewhere to the street as well. down one of these and see what's down here. It looks like the tracks are all the way down but it seems like a long way. Down, so let's take a bit of a walk. that was that we've actually walked on but if we turn around you can see how far up we've just come and we already I think something like uh, two floors down from where Grand Central itself is so if you look at that it's a long way up there must be another couple floors down at least
Here's where all the tracks are. You can see these tracks go up into the 200s and the 300s even. It's very, very modern looking. So this is track 301 and 302 down there. It's funny how new these tracks look like a train hasn't even been on them yet compared to the New York City subway or the Metro North or the Amtrak. These tracks lose, look totally unused so far. Let's hope it stays nice and clean. I guess this is what a unused track would look like. Very unusual to see. go directly onto the tracks from these escalators over here. And then every little way there's these escalators that take you all the way up. So we've come from up there, just a little further down. But let's try and see if we can get one of these other escalators that take us to the next level instead of going all that way up. This is the first time I'm seeing any of this too, so it's a little new for me and I'm not exactly sure where to go, so we'll just find out together as I explore this place. There are clearly some LR trains running through here already. See a bunch of people come out. Thank you. So this floor is basically just all tracks from the 200s to the 300s. I think what I'm seeing is if you go up over there, you get to a few more tracks on the next floor. So, let's actually go up the stairs and see where this leads us. Okay, 
This is taking us directly onto the track. So there's an ally or train. Again, unused track. Look at that. So interesting to see. the only way really to get off the track is to go back down and then take that long escalator all the way back up again to get to kind of the main concourse. Let's take a look and see if we can find anything else on this floor before we go back up all the way to the main concourse. So those escalators up there will take us all the way back up from where we came. I think there's a, too much else to see on this floor actually, besides what we've just seen. I really do like the artwork on the wall though and the quotes. Nicely laid out. Looks like they have space for new vending machines for tickets as well. So they haven't really input yet. So everything is still really, really new. I'm sure there'll be a lot to be added in. Let's go back up all the way. Again with a very, very long escalator. Walk a little, see if we can save some time. You can kind of see why they managed to keep it such a secret now. This is, this is really, really low below the ground. to go up there and I was walking, not even standing.
So again, one of these spots where you can go all the way down to the tracks. And I think if we keep walking all this way, we'll get back to the main concourse pretty much. This is exactly where we came from earlier. There's quite a lot of bathrooms all over the place. We've walked past quite a few on this floor. Which is something that's generally in short supply in New York City. So good to see the our bathrooms. I'm sure they're still really clean at the start. Hopefully they stay that way. I'm sure they'll be putting more artwork in the place as it gets a little older. Really clean and modern looking, like I said. So that's interesting. It looks like this will take you into one of the buildings directly into the subways, the four, five, six, seven. So it's very similar to what's happened under Rock Center where they have entrance to buildings itself. Um, people who work in those office buildings can exit and enter from their buildings directly because there's direct access to a concourse that leads into the subways. I used to work in a building on 6th Avenue and um, I was very close to 52nd Street and you could actually exit the building directly below walk underground for a few streets and get to um, the 47th, 50th Street Rock Center subways from there. So that looks like it's a very similar thing as well. So we've come back up to the dining concourse inside Grand Central now. been here for a while so you'll recognize this but that's essentially how you kind of get to um, the new Grand Central Medicine you come down into this uh, food court uh, dining hall and then you can make your way up from here back to the main part of Grand Central again we take these stairs back up. I'm sure there are escalators somewhere around here as well. Let's take the stairs back up. Not an easy thing to find, but I can see now. This is the main Grand Central back in. It's pretty quick to get back here. It's like the quickest way to get there. It's kind of going downwards from here. If you go down at the 
dining concourse entrance. Head to the dining concourse, go one further down, and then you'll be pretty much there. That should do it today for the Grand Central Madison tour. Let's see if I can bring in another one of these. Um, now that I know it's a little better, try and shoot one in the future when it's a little bit more busy and a little bit more updated. Thanks again for watching.